Hi friends, welcome back to day two of Classroom Setup. If you're new here, my name is Emily and this year I will be a second year and fourth grade teacher in Kentucky. Okay, so um, welcome back. I think I said at the end of the last vlog that my boyfriend was gonna come in and help me do a few things last night and he did. And so before I get started with what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna give you a little overview of what we got done yesterday. So here we go. Okay, so yeah, I did this last night. So if you remember this whole thing right here, like this cork board, this dry erase board and this cork board were like scooted over behind the door. I don't really know why I put them there anyways, but I moved them over um, and this is gonna be like a student section. Um, so I've got like pencils, um, I'm gonna sit out some tissues, pencil sharpener, hand sanitizer, is all gonna go here. And these are their mailboxes as well. I told, uh, I think I said that before too. Um, then I went ahead and hung up hall passes right here right now. I got these lanyards from the dollar spot last summer and right now they just say, hello, my name is. So I'm gonna make hall pass tags for that. That way they're ready to go. Um, this board will have like our lunch and breakfast schedule and this board's going to have, I think I said I, we do a monthly newsletter for the school. So I'll put that there. Um, and then this is gonna have like important dates for the month, like uh, test dates. I mean, we'll have like back to school, like first day of school date up there and everything like that too for the month of August. So that's gonna go there. I did print out my Cricut earlier this morning, um, the word student center. So like, it'll be labeled, is that necessary? No, but like I did it. So <laughs> this, if you remember last year, I was struggling so hard with how to figure out classroom jobs. Um, at first I was going to have them, sorry, I don't wanna make you dizzy. I was gonna have them up there, but I really want this board space for if I need to put an anchor chart there or, you know, just hang anything up. So, and also I couldn't figure out how to actually attach the jobs and everything to that board. So we're not doing that. But what I am gonna do is have our jobs here on this anchor chart or this pocket chart, which I didn't know I had. I was literally thinking through yesterday, like, oh, I guess I could put a pocket chart there. This is like the only pocket chart hanging in my room. Um, and I found it in the supply cabinet yesterday when I was on, packing that whole thing. So I found that in there and I was like, oh, this would be perfect for jobs. So what I did, um, you can kind of see already here, I had these already Velcro dots already up there for when I was trying to put it on the front board. But so what I'm just gonna do is um, each week, I think I'm gonna change each week. I haven't fully decided that yet. Um, I'll just take this out, um, take this Velcro number off and then I'll rotate them. And this pocket chart ha came with a little extra pocket at the bottom. So I just put all the extra numbers in there so they're ready to go for when I change them out each week. So that's how that is. Oh my goodness, I almost tripped on the chair. <laughs> and then I have the jobs banner printed out and ready to go too. So that's it for area. This table, I just kind of cleaned off, put some things away, like the supplies that I had bought. I'm still working on everything else. This front table, doesn't really look that different. Um, I got stopped and got a Duncan today because I needed it so bad. Um, here's the big thing that we did. So he helped me put together, he is my boyfriend, <laughs> helped me put together this bookshelf or this cube organizer yesterday. I'm so excited about this. Um, I'm excited to have it right by my desk so that I can use it for uh, like small group storage and just to have this extra counter space will be good too. Right now I just have these things sitting on it. Don't know if they'll stay there, but that's just where they are for now. Um, today I brought labels for this 10 drawer rolling cart. So I'm going to label that. I need to go through all of those drawers though and take stuff out because I have absolutely no idea what's in any of them. It's just random stuff that I was trying to put away at the end of last year. Um, I think you saw the front board yesterday. I went ahead and put happy first day over here. Um, so there's that, my board. These are all books that I need to label. I think I said that yesterday. These are all books that I need to organize and put away. I think I also said that yesterday. I went ahead and tried to hang this banner back up, but I think I told you like this side is broken. So I'm gonna have to glue it and that's okay. I just didn't have my hot glue out yesterday. Hot glue gun out yesterday. Keep coming over here. I put these bins out. Not sure what I'm gonna put in there yet, but they're there. <laughs> um, I kept, or I was organizing this yesterday. These are all like Scholastic News. Uh, and StoryWorks magazines. I love these magazines to work with uh, and to use to teach out of. They're great articles. They come with great resources. Can't talk enough about those. So those are awesome. These are math manipulatives that I need to either leave there or maybe I'll put them in these green baskets. Not really sure. Um, and those are just two more storage bins that I used last year. I need to get down. 
These are extra bins. Oh, here's the tissues. I think I was going to put those out yesterday and just forgot. <laughs> Here is the state of this cabinet. We're working through it. <laughs> and then my supply cabinet over here also working through. So I think that's everything. One more thing we did, I do yesterday that I forgot about. Um, we took down the paper that was outside of my room on that bulletin board and put up a new paper and border so that I'm ready to put up whatever I'm going to put up there next. So I'm going to show you a quick picture of that, but it's outside. So I need to do it fast. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the student center and the jobs banner up first, just because I just printed those out and I'm super excited about that. So let's do it. <laughs> okay. Before I get started on what I just said I was going to do, um, I'm, I have to cut out the banners from the lamination sheets real fast so I sat down on my desk but while I was here I remembered I had some labels over in my supply cabinet so I want to show you or tell you about the trip trip trick I did uh, when I was organizing organizing words are so hard today you guys will just have to bear with me my classroom library last year so I don't know if you can tell but all those books over there the ones I still need to label um, what I did last year when I was or labeling them the first time is I went ahead and printed out a few more labels of each color and then also the label that goes inside the book so that it's, you know it's mine. That way, um, like if I got new books ever, I was just super, it was super easy to grab a label and stick it on there. So let me go ahead and show you. So I just printed on these address labels from Target. Um, you can get these, they're just like the Avery ones, but they're cheaper. Um, and then what I did was I printed out extras of the, this what says like property of Miss Beecham's classroom library. Um, I printed out extra ones of these so I can just stick them in the new books when I got them. But then also my library is um, organized by genre and not levels. So I assigned each genre a specific color and there's a chart that it's over in my library that goes with the colors. Um, I can't remember where they all are. I think pink is like fiction and there's like graphic novels and sports books, all those things. So I just printed out extra colors of each label. So now all I have to do is grab a label and stick it on the book and we're good to go. So I'm really proud of myself that I did that last year because it makes my life easier this year. Okay, so I cut out all of the job banners. These are, um, this is the, this is the student center work letters that are going to go up there. This is a different quote that I want to do all last year and just finally got to, so that's exciting. I will show that in a minute once I get it up, um, in a minute. <laughs> that's going to take me a while. <laughs> um, this is the job banner. And then these are the labels I have for my tendril rolling cart. These came in the bundle there's a train going by sorry if you can hear it my classroom decor bundle so my bundle that i use for mm, kind of a lot of stuff in here is from confetti and creativity i'll link it down below um but this is um th these are just editable labels that were in that and i just edited them for what i want um and once i get it all organized i'll show you what i'm gonna use it for okay i got it finished and that took way longer than i thought but that's okay <laughs> i'm gonna show you what it looks like Okay, so these are the drawers, pretty cute. Um, like I said, they, come, they came in the decor pack that I'm using for my classroom. And as you can see, I'm gonna use it for days of the week, like with copies and stuff, because last year I felt like that's something I was lacking. I had a like paper storage organization plan in my mind, but it just didn't work out like how I wanted. And I was like craving something like this where I could put all the papers for Monday, all the papers for Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on and so forth. Um, and then I just like to stack them in the order of which I'll use them. So obviously like something we'd use right in the morning would be on top. And then as we go through the day, that's how I like to organize my papers. And so now I can just go ahead and do that for all the days of the week. I did pick one for next week because I felt like last year, like that was something I wanted to, like something like ready to go for next week. Same as like for to copy. Um, last year I didn't really have to do a lot of paper grading, but I'm assuming this year I might have more of that. This is um, just extras. Cause I always had like a paper in my hand that like didn't need to be passed out. I always print like at least one extra. And so I want to be able to have it place support, put them so they're not just laying around. So my extras will go in there. <laughs> and then this drawer is pretty funny. I used it as like my snack drawer last year. So I'm going to keep those in there for now. I can move them obviously if need be. I also put in all of the drawer like handles um, down here too, because I don't need them right now, but I don't want to get rid of them in case I ever need them again. So this drawer is just funny. I can move them if I need to. So yeah, and here... <laughs> Is everything that was in those drawers I needed to find a new home for. 
My next mode of attack, well, not next, but I do want to organize this and clean this out too because it's another thing that I'm like, Emily, what do you got going on? <laughs> I think now I am going to actually put up the banner. I was watching some vlogs too while I was doing that. So <laughs> let me go do it. Okay, I finished the back wall and I'm super excited. So let me show you. All right, so here's what she's looking like. Let me just give you an overview. Okay, so nothing really changed down here. I did go ahead and put out some pencils. Ignore this, I have this on my hand still. <laughs> um, and the tissues, hand sanitizer, light. That is a little air freshener. I talked about that yesterday. Um, hall passes. I just added these two for decor. I felt like that space was kind of empty. This is the Dre race board. I cut out these letters with my Cricut. Don't remember what font. I think it's like KG Summer Storm Smooth, something like that. I'll link it down below or put in the deck, uh, description box down below. Um, here's the jobs banner and then the jobs still look the same. I went ahead and added numbers just so it wasn't empty for now. Um, and then right here, I felt like I needed something too. So I had those signs already printed out and I had those flowers already ready to go. So I just hung them, like I kind of put them together on the floor and like glued it together and then just like picked it up in one big piece and I was able to glue it up there. Um, these two signs are from a decor pack on TPT and then the two flowers um, are the same flowers as these and they are from a schoolgirl style collection. I actually have the package I can show you. This is the package of succulents from schoolgirl style. I got two packs last year and so I finally have used all of them from the first one. There are 12 um, and then I have one more package, I guess, if I need it. Um, but they're literally everywhere around my room. There's two up there, there. I kind of have one on each board. And now there are more over there. Then the stars, if you're wondering, I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year. They look like that. Um, and I have these over on my window, you can see. Um, and they're also on my, try not to make you dizzy, my front door right there. So I just added them to the sides of that for a little extra pop. I've got like two sheets left and I'm really sad when I'm, run I'm going to be really sad when I run out because they didn't have them again this year or else I would have gotten more. <laughs> okay, excuse me, my braid is falling. <laughs> it's fine. The next thing I want to do though is put a quote at the front of my room because that's just something that I have wanted to do since I got in here, but just haven't yet. Now that I'm looking at, <laughs> I'm looking at Student Center, like the words over there, and I keep thinking they're spelled wrong. But I'm pretty sure they're spelled right. Let me know in the comments below if they're wrong. <laughs> and I'm just not putting those together. Um, anyways, so I want to put a quote at the big front of my wall. Um, I cut it out on my Cricut, and so I'm gonna put all, pull all the letters out and arrange them. This is probably gonna take me a pretty long time because I'm by myself, but also where I wanna put it is up here, not in this space between the lights, but this space kind of like on this cinder block row. And the only way I can do that is with a ladder. So we're gonna try it. Um, but first I need to lay all the words out. This braid, I'm probably just gonna take it. <laughs> Lay all the words out, um, face it out, and then we will go from there. <laughs> kind of nervous. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, braid came down, project is done, and I want to show you what is even happening. So sorry, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> okay, I finally got this quote up. It says, this classroom is better because you are in it. Um, I've wanted this up all last year and then I just got a chance to do it now. So I'm super excited with how it turned out. I think this front board looks super cute. Um, I have um, some like um, social distancing posters like that over there from last year. I think I'm gonna take those down and then I think I'm gonna have like a reading and math board. Um, I gotta make banners for those but yeah, this front board's coming together. Ignore the mess on these bookshelves. I'm gonna work on cleaning those off throughout the next couple days, but I wanted to show you how this turned out. I love it. The next thing I'm gonna work on is emptying all these drawers and then going through everything all at once instead of trying to like mix and match what I'm doing. So let me do it. Hi friends, totally forgot to end the vlog inside of my classroom. Oh, and I just looked and forgot to close my blinds. Ah! 
Anyways, um, but after that last clip, all I did was took some time to go through the drawers that I kept talking about all day and got rid of a bunch of stuff that I didn't need. And then I also um, put some stuff away that just didn't need to be in there and kind of made a category for each drawer. And I'll explain that more tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and end the vlog here. So if you guys enjoy, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more classroom setup vlogs. I'm having so much fun doing these. I hope you're enjoying them. Oh, there's a person. That's awkward. Um, but I'm going to go. Have a great day. Bye, guys.